I never thought I'd be divorced. I never thought I'd be without all three of my kids on a Monday morning. I certainly never thought I'd be dealing with acne at 33 years old. <laughs> but guess what? Life doesn't always go as planned, and the older I get, the more I realize how little control I actually have. The real trick is finding joy in the unexpected, and the beauty is that once you're looking for it, you'll find it everywhere. Now, this Monday without my kids started with my worst acne day of the month and puffy eyes from the previous night's tears. I'm grateful that these puffy eyes are a pretty rare occurrence, so when the wave of grief hits me every once in a while, I just let myself cry and feel the feelings and soak in all the support from my amazing husband. So even on these days when I may be missing my kids or wishing things were different, I always still cannot resist enjoying the slowness and the freedom of getting ready in the morning. I remind myself that the majority of my mornings are filled with answering the requests of kids and getting everyone what they need and feeling like I don't have a single moment to myself. So any morning when I find myself home alone, I savor starting my day however I want to, which for me was kind of getting my side of the bed cleared away because that's what was needing to happen and getting just a little bit of work done. This particular Monday is going to be full of productivity because that's just who I am and what I enjoy. It all genuinely makes me happy and feels so good to just be getting things done. Here is a sneak peek of my toddler's new room. Our project for this extra long holiday weekend has been a big room reshuffle. I wasn't quite happy with how my son's was turning out, but after spending this morning rearranging, I am absolutely in love with it. I will have the full project and tour for you guys next week, and then we will be working on the two other kids' rooms coming up here pretty soon. So for me, it just takes a lot of rearranging furniture and then just kind of seeing what else needs to happen. This <laughs> warning label has been on my son's bunk bed forever. Our wonderful brother-in-laws who were helping us out installing it and building it when we first got it, um, I think just put it on the wrong rail. So I finally gave up on trying to scrub it off and actually just moved it down to where it was meant to go and then it was as good as new. Alrighty, mid-morning snack. This is always a part of my day. Today it's a homemade focaccia bread, which was one of my new sourdough recipes um, that I absolutely loved. Recently I have remembered how much I enjoy spending time in my kitchen, so I've been giving myself permission lately to spend more and more time there. It's easy for me to feel stressed or rushed or that I should be doing something better with my time, but then I just remind myself that feeding my family good food is a really great use of my time and it fills me up personally. So that is the type of win-win that we should always be looking for as moms. So this is the other kids room that we have upstairs. The plan was to be converting this into a kind of master bedroom overflow area and revealing new bedrooms downstairs for my older two, but things did not go as expected. We weren't able to finish that, so I just need to clean up this space to make it work for them to use for just this week. I'm probably pitching it as an exciting school's over slumber party for the next few days. Honestly, it looks pretty good. And here is the aftermath <laughs> that I will be dealing with after I get my bread out of the oven. One thing I really have grown to fully enjoy about these kid-free days is the ability to finish a task. As moms, we do a lot of ping-ponging around the house, between kids, between chores, and I really do take the time to notice and be grateful for being able to fully finish unloading the dishwasher in one sitting and then going above and beyond with the countertops just because I want to. and. You know, taking my time getting this bread out of the pan. I don't know, all those little things that it's really easy to find ourselves rushing. I really do enjoy that. Alrighty, my next task is cleaning out our bunny area. They live in our cleaned out fireplace and then we do let them free roam some of the time. 
I happily own this chore because I wanted the bunnies, I found the bunnies, and even though we all love the bunnies, I actually also enjoy taking care of them. It really is such a gift to myself when I can recognize the satisfaction I get from tasks that don't necessarily feel optional. <laughs> Lunch time. The best part of my day is always my husband coming home from work. We are still newlyweds. We just celebrated our one year anniversary. So yes, there are going to be a lot of hugs and kisses and we really wouldn't have it any other way. This Monday is Memorial Day. So it's a rare treat to have him home from work um, this early to be having lunch together, just the two of us. I'm using some of that focaccia bread for some Italian grilled cheeses. We do often make grilled cheeses with my homemade sourdough bread because it's just so yummy. And what I've been enjoying lately is some Italian seasoning in between the bread and the cheese and then we dip it in marinara sauce and it's actually really delicious. He didn't know I was gonna be filming this, but isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> so here we are just taking a moment to pray, express gratitude, enjoy the peace and quiet. It really is so nice. And then we get to just sit and enjoy each other's company have some nice conversation, enjoy our yummy food. You can see I lit a candle. That's one of my just self-care, true joy <laughs> things that I have just really learned that I love. I don't really know why. It just makes the house smell nice. It sets a nice ambiance. So I actually lit that candle kind of first thing this morning and it's been just kind of burning and I've been enjoying it all throughout the day so far. It's nice to kind of regroup together, kind of talk about the plan. We always have a few things that we're trying to accomplish. We talk about what things we need to get done or figure out before the kids come home. In this case, it's gonna entail getting the last few projects done in my son's room, doing some grocery shopping, just kind of little things like that. Um, kind of a divide and conquer type of thing. Next is cleaning our master bathroom. I had this on my for sure to do today list because I tend to let our bathroom get kind of out of hand. I'm really good at cleaning the kids bathroom regularly because it's the guest bathroom and it's what I am walking past all day long and kids get it pretty dirty pretty quickly. So I'm in a really good routine. I'll usually clean it when my son is in the bathtub but man, our bathroom is just tucked away and it tends to kind of get forgotten. So I definitely wanted to get the, give this a really good clean. It just always feels so good when it's done. Next, I'm back from the grocery store and I was really pumped to get my new prints into their frames. These are gonna be part of my basement project that I'm very excited about. And it'll just be nice to have some pictures of the kids up. It's been a while since I've had any up. I just have not. I don't know, we're still settling in. We've been here, what, nine months probably? And we're just, I'm still kinda getting things where I want them to be. Alrighty, the final touches on my toddler's room. The little shelves for his books. This is the part I always want, a second set of eyes, second set of hands, so that I can really see exactly where I want them, picture how it's gonna look. We figured out the shelf height and then what you missed out on seeing was that we marked where it was going to go and then had a solid afternoon nap. Luxurious, I know. <laughs> Back to work, putting on the final touches of my son's room before I go and pick the kids up from their dads. I never thought I'd be divorced. I never thought I'd have a Monday without my kids. I could tell you a lot of reasons why it makes me sad and how far my life strayed from what I had planned for myself, but guess what? There's always more joy available to us than we ever thought possible. All we have to do is look for it. I've learned to love myself despite my shortcomings. The more I accept my circumstances instead of judging them, the more I can see that they don't have to define me. I'm no less of a mom now than I was when I was married to their dad. I'm still the right mom for my kids and we do our best every single day to love each other and find joy in this amazing life that we've been given. So beautiful mama, no matter what life is throwing at you right now, cut yourself some slack and find a little more joy today than you did yesterday. I know you can do it. I'll see you soon.